talking. He went to talk about the text in the context. You know what? He got this funny little sayings here. But first off, let's discuss in brief the Gentiles. Who were the Gentiles Paul went to? Now, you have to know a little bit of history. If you don't know, go back to the book of Kings, chapter 17, about the nation of Israel being split in two. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking. I'm, gonna start, I'm just going to read. And before I get to that, I'm going to get to the New Testament, since that's where Thomas Dexter Jakes wants to go regarding Gentiles. Matthew 4, 15. The land of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali, by the way of, of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, what were they calling those two tribes of Israel, Zebulon and Naphtali, Galilee of the Gentiles? See, what Christians tend to do is omit the tribes of Israel. They'll talk about the Jews, and it, as ignorant as a lot of you are, you don't realize that the term Jew makes reference to the kingdom of Judah. The kingdom of Judah consists of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay, that was the southern kingdom of Israel. But there was the northern kingdom of Israel as well, which included Ephraim, Manasseh, Zebulon, Naphtali, Gad and Reuben, Issachar, so forth and so on. What about them? For some reason, you read the New Testament and it's like, oh, God forgot about them. Oh, to hell with them. Or you think when it says Jew, it's referring to Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Naphtali, Zebulon. Mm -mm, no, it's not. Jew refers to Judah. Benjamin and Levi. That's it, my brothers. That's it. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. So, Zebulun and Naphtali, the remnant that was there, was called Gentiles. Let me get you some more in John 7. Y'all follow along with me. John 7, 3. I'm tired of this stupidity. White supremacy is going to be put a stop to. John 7, 35. Here we go. Then said the Jews. Oh, Jews again. That doesn't include all 12 tribes. That's Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go that we shall not find him? Will he, meaning Christ, go unto the dispersed? What does dispersed mean? It means scattered. Among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles. What were they calling the dispersed Israelites? Gentiles. 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 Now I'm going to show you that in the Bible Dictionary. Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Let's go inside. Let's look up Gentiles. All right. Gentiles. It means nation, people. Usually, it means a non-Israelite people. Do y'all know what the word usually means? It means sometimes. Usually means sometimes it means a non-Israelite people. But sometimes it refers to Israelites. If you have a fifth grade, a fifth grade reading education, you can comprehend this. Gentiles, nation or people, that's what it means. Usually, look at the word usually. Usually it means a non-Israelite people. Sometimes it means a non-Israelite people. But sometimes it refers to Israelites. This is the book Israel. Re I always pronounce it wrong. Revividus. <laughs> All right, let's blow it up big. Uh, let me shrink it so you can see it. It was probably about that. It was probably about this time that the Jews passed the seas and settled in Europe. For they who understood the Greek tongue and had resided among the people in Asia, Syria, and Egypt might easily live in any part of the Grecian Empire. This is the Greek Empire, even in Macedonia and Achaia, according as they found it more convenient or they enjoyed greater liberty. Thus, St. Paul found great numbers of them in all the cities of Greece when he went to preach the gospel there about 250 years after the time of Antiochus the Great. These Jews were half Greeks whom the Eastern Jews called Hellenists. The word Hellenist means Greek speaking Jews. And they gave the Gentiles the name of Hellenes, Greek speaking Jews which properly signifies, hold on, Greeks. Whence it comes that in St. Paul's epistles, Greek and Gentile signify the same thing. Let's go to the next page. Watch this. Pay close attention. It will, of course, be argued by those who hold the call of the Gentiles theory. The word theory goes into a guess. This is what your, the white supremacist colonialism 
form of Christianity teaches. The call of the Gentiles is a theory. Let's read it again. It will, of course, be argued by those who hold the call of the Gentiles theory that these Greeks were Gentiles to whom the gospel was thus early preached and who became Christians. It has, however, already been shown that this is quite antithetical to the manner in which the Greeks and Gentiles respectfully are referred to in the Acts of the Apostles and Epistles. And it is inconsistent with the general tenor of the New Testament to come to any different conclusion than that the Greeks, or perhaps the upper classes of those who at that time went by the name of Greeks, were other than, watch this, descendants of some at least of the lost ten tribes. Facts, that's what the scholars know. So y'all see the title of the book, Israel Redivivus, all right? So as I prove, T.D. Jakes, Thomas Dexter Jakes does not know the text of the context, okay? He's so busy trying to gather all nations and he's missing the northern kingdom of Israel that Christ and had sent Paul to go gather, which was scattered amongst many of the other uh, Jews or the kingdom of Judah, scattered far and wide throughout the Greek empire. That's who Paul went to. And let me prove it, because you might say, okay, because we went to Matthew 4.15, we went to John 7.35. Is there any place else that I can go? There's many places. But let me show you. In Corinth, the, the city of Corinth, where is that located? It's in Greece. Let's read what Paul says to the Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. I'm in verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Why would Paul tell a, a group of real Greeks, or today as you call them white folks, that all our fathers were with Moses? What was it uh, now for you Christians that think you're Bible scholars? Were the Greeks with Moses in the wilderness? Did they walk with Moses and the Israelites through the Red Sea? Answer the question. Don't lie. Listen, the only ones that he's making, what is this proof about the Corinthians? What were they? Israelites. Our fathers were with Moses and passed through the sea and were baptized unto Moses. That was only the Israelites. Watch this. And did all eat the same spiritual meat? Verse 4. And did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Christ. You see that? And that rock was Christ. These were the Israelites in the wilderness. This was not Greeks in the wilderness. So just stop it. Stop it, Thomas Desper Jakes, and wake the hell up.